Hello everyone, this is Alex from Vending Machine Support, and I want to show you real quick a cool new feature that's been introduced uh, into the AMS firmware. That actually is a drop sensor test. It's actually a way for you to actually test the drop sensors using the front display as a visual reference to see if those sensors are actually being tripped when something is passing by the sensors. Now, I think this was actually introduced in version 1.50 of the firmware. Now, this particular machine is actually using a version 1.51. But to do the sensor test, you're just going to need to enter service mode. So I'm going to do that by pressing the service mode button. And that can be found on the inside of the main door on the left-hand side. I'm going to open up the monetary door and press the service mode button. Come back around to the front here. And I'm going to keep the door slightly ajar. Um, now, the sensor test is going to be found under Options. So we're going to press the pound key until we get to Options. There we are, Options. And actually, after we're to our Options, we're going to press 8, and that's going to put us into the sensor test. So if I go ahead and press 8. Now, on the screen here is the graphical representation of the sensors as they're looking across the top of the delivery bin. Now, if I was to pass something by the, or through the actual sensors, you'll get a at symbol shown on the display representing a sensor being triggered. Now, you can't close the door on this point and vent something because that actually will take it out of the service mode. So you have to leave the door open, so you may have to have two people to kind of do this test. So I'm going to do kind of a, uh, uh, a gorilla test here. So I'm actually going to come around, and I've got a piece of cardboard up here, and I'm going to swing this cardboard into the chute to act like I'm tri drop or tripping the sensors. Now, every time I do this, there is going to be some symbols coming up on the display. This again. Now, every time we get the at symbol on the display is where the actual sensor has been tripped. So this is actually a good way to visually see if the sensors are working. Before they added this in there, there was actually really no way of other, other than checking a light on the sensor. So this is a pretty cool feature I thought that was added to the AMS, which is really, really nice. So it's good, good troubleshooting uh, method here. So just wanted to share that with everybody out there. Now, if you found this video useful, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions or ideas of videos that you would like to see, comment below. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.